Hi, I'm Julia and this is my shed. So I'm having a bit of a burst of enthusiasm on the Britannia, Model Works Britannia kit at the moment. So I'm um, sort of having a bit of a push to try and get the suspension finished. So one of the things that's missing from the kit is some um, part five, um, which is called a spring hanger. Um, but if you actually look um, on the spink drawings, uh, he calls them spring washers. Now spink actually calls for rubber uh, on this part. It's just a basic, basically a thick washer. Um, but if you actually look at photos of people that have built the kits, um, can't really tell from this one, but the um, when you actually look at that part, um, you can see that it's made out of brass. So I don't really think there's much to be gained by making them from rubber. Um, so we need 12 of these. Um, so that's today's job. So um, as it's a, as we need 12 of something, um, we're going to use the um, capstan lathe to make those because although it'll take a while to set up, it'll still probably save us a bit of time over making it on the MyFood. So that's something different. I've gone through my um, stock of uh, brass. I haven't really got any half inch, uh, but I have got lots of um, 7 sixteenths. So um, I think that's what we'll be using. So this is my, I made this collet box um, from using my laser cutter. Um, you, if you look online, there are um, the software which will give you a, a box, you just basically give it the dimensions and it, it, it castellates it so you can uh, easily glue it together. So I took that design and then added a bit of a bit of uh, engraving on it so all, all the collet sizes are, are engraved. Um, and what I did was I, I went through all the collets, so I basically got collets for two machines, I went through all the collets to find the best ones that I'd got. Um, but there was quite a lot of gaps, as you can see here uh, on my MyFood. I spent a long time making a load of collet blanks, uh, and these are from free cutting mild steel uh, because I couldn't afford tall steel really. But it was some um, a leaded steel, so it was quite nice to machine. But these took quite a long time to make. So I've got. Um, some spares as well so I might make some metric ones at some point um, but as you can see I've got I can fill in the blanks as and where when I need but um, I don't actually need to do that today because we have got a, a 7 16 collet there so we'll swap the collets over and uh, see how we get on okay so um, we'll just slacken off the cross slide to get it out of the way Holds the collets in place, so I'll whip that out. Okay, so this is the new uh, this is what is the work work piece that we need to use. That's the collet. Collets are a little bit uh, rusty. At the moment, we the collet's released, so I basically pull it up hand tight, and then that's that's um, almost fully engaged. I might need to just slacken that off a little bit so we've got some movement. And that feels pretty good now. So that's the collet adjusted. So I'm not sure if you can see that but you can actually see the collet being pushed in because the collet's being pushed forwards into this nose so there's a taper there so that's quite good because it's pushing everything towards the end stop okay so um th there's a number of ways of measuring the the depth or the, how much we need to cut off uh, the washer once it's been made 
Uh, I'm going to use slip gauges today, mainly because I ne hardly ever use my slip gauges. <laughs> so, um, 3 sixteenths is 0.1875. So I've got um, a 0.05 slip gauge and a 0.138 slip gauge. So that gives me 0.188. Let's see, 0.1875. My... Um, Vernier calipers sort of sort of agree. Um, that's very much close enough for making washers, but what we can do is set up the um, parting tool so that um, we get we get something close to that value. So at the moment the um, cross slide is is loosely fixed in, so I'm just going to pop the slip gauges in there and that, that look actually looks about right. Um, I've, I've got a little bit of slack and I can move this just to get a bit more a uh, bit more accurate. So so I'm, I'm move, moving this to get a moving the cross slide position first to get a um, sort of a rough a rough position. Once I'm happy with that, I shall tighten up the cross slide mounting bolt, which is underneath. So at the moment, what I can see there is that the part's too small. So what we need to do now is adjust the position of this. Actually, that's uh, it's quite a nice sliding fit there, so I think we'll go with that. So I've got um, the full the 4.1 mil drill that I need for this particular project. It needs to be M4 clearance. I've just got it just touching against the top of the part. And obviously I need to go in 3 sixteenths, but all the way through the full diameter. So I've estimated that to be about a quarter of an inch. So um, if I bring you to, round to the the limits what I've done is here this gap here I've made quarter of an inch so the, these there's one of these for each tool position and they set how far this part moves uh, into the work so um, I think I think we're we're ready to to give everything a try now so uh, let's give it a go see what happens okay so that's first position I'm going to apply a bit of pressure to the, to the, the workpiece and start the motor. So we go back to one position and then we can I don't think that centre drill is very sharp. But that's the centre drill. We'll now um, do, do the intermediate drill just to rough out basically so it saves wearing the, the main drill out too much. And it's all the way to the end. All we do is leave the, leave the drill in place so then when I part off So what you can see there is is that the, um, the drill hasn't quite gone through far enough. So the parting off blade has gone through. So what I need to do is adjust this, adjust this um, end stop here. So I'm going to do that in real time. Try that, see if that does the trick. So what you can see is, is that the hole hasn't gone all the way through. So I think we need a bit more, uh, bit more length mm. on the drill. As with all these things, there is a bit of trial and error. 
Right then, so obviously we've got an empty position there, another empty position, and then we'll go back to this bit. Now, unfortunately, I can't um, I can't use that because we've got a nub in there. So I think what I'm going to do is also now adjust the, uh, the parting blade so it goes right to the middle. So let's give that. A go. Right, so we're in position one. Uh, I've unlocked the collet. I'm just using a, a push push rod to get that to the right position. Uh, so that's that done. I can now bring up the centre drill, which is very blunt, and switch on the motor. Try putting it off. Well, actually, before I do that, I will uh, just round the corners off. And there you go. So I got pretty quickly once I was set up, I've got 12 um, for the six axles, so two on each side. I've got a spare and we, we only actually had two wasted uh, pieces. So that one didn't drill all the way through and I got the width wrong on that one for some reason or other. So not a lot of wastage. Uh, some I've had, sometimes I've had a lot more wastage than that. It's just uh, some, sometimes you just get on it quickly enough. So um, you are left with um, a little bit of a burr on this side. So I'm just using a deburring tool and that that will come off quite quickly. So I've got, I've got those parts ready to put on the Britannia. So... Quite a quick job really, that's a morning's work for it to get everything set up. Um, I do like I do like to use the capstan when I can, uh, just to get the practice in as much as anything. Um, obviously the, the more, more jobs you set up, the more experience you get, um, the better uh, yeah, the better you get at it. Oh, that's a hard one. So anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. Um, like, share and subscribe. Um, please leave a comment. I'm always interested in comments. Um, maybe maybe, uh, maybe you were a tool setter in a previous life. Maybe you can give me some creative criticism. That would be nice. Um, yeah, so anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the next one.